Okay, so in front of me, you will see two different ribbons. I've got a one and a half inch white and a one and a half inch pink and white stripe. The pink and white stripe will be for the bow and the white, of course, will be for the bunny's ears. I'm also working with some pink embroidery floss. You can also use thread if that is what you choose. I have a few little sequin buttons. I haven't decided if I'm going to use those or if I'm going to use some pom-poms, which you also see a bag of pom-poms for my bunny's cute little nose. And you'll need some clips, your scissors, your lighter, and glue gun. Okay, so I went ahead and clipped two strips of ribbon. And again, this is a one and a half inch ribbon and both of my strips measure 10 inches. We're just going to make a very simple tuxedo style bow. You'll need to heat seal your ends. Definitely don't want anything to fray. Go ahead and get this one out of the way. All right, this is going to be very simple to follow. All you do is take it, form a circle, just like this. And then we're gonna press, this is the back, right here where you see the crease of the ribbon, or the ribbon ends. You're just gonna take it and lay it flat in the center, just like that. Now all you have to do is give it a crease. I like to do it three times. One, two, three. And then you're going to take your embroidery floss and wrap it around. Tie it off. And then you have your bow. We're just going to set this aside and go ahead and complete the second bow. Again, just form a circle and then press down. And what I like to use is my other one as a guide just to make sure I am making them the same length. All right, give it a crease. One, two, three. Tie it off and then we're ready to move on. Okay, now for the ears, you're gonna need two white pieces of ribbon and both of these are one and a half inch width and they both measure eight inches in length. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make the ears. Okay, so you wanna make a U just like I have and then fold in the two ends just like this and overlap them just a bit and you'll see that point start to form it'll look like this turn it around and just press together until you have it looking like this that looks like a good ear you can take your hot glue gun and just along the edge here, piece these two pieces together so it stays just like this. Okay, now my ears are complete. What I like to do now is take a little bit of my Stiff and Quick and spray both of the ear pieces just to make them a little more sturdy. Okay, if you take a look at this ear, you'll notice how down here at the bottom it's pretty boxy. And the one that we've already completed is not as boxy, see? So what I like to do is I like to just fold in the bottom corners. Just fold it once and then fold it twice. Just where they overlap each other, something like that. But it's not overlapping the actual ear up here. And I like to do that for two reasons. One, it's not as boxy looking. And for two, it's going to hide behind the bow. See, 
hide behind the bow just like that. All right, so you can just add a little bit of glue here and we're set. All right, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to secure my clip to my bow with a little 3 8 inch white ribbon, just like we did to this one. See, there's the 3 8 inch. All right, so I went ahead and attached the bow to the clip, just like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our ear on the bow piece. And if you will come to the back, open your clip, just like that. We are going to attach the bunny ear right on the inside of the back clip, of course, at the top. So add just a little bit of glue right back here where your 3 8 inch ribbon is at the top. Right here. And then we are going to stick the ear right in there. And then you can shut the clip after it dries. And we have another bunny ear. This clip is gonna be super simple. I'm using some more of that white one and a half inch ribbon. I made this simple tuxedo style bow just like we did previously in the other tutorial. I clipped off 12 inches of the white ribbon and this makes a four inch tuxedo bow. Went ahead and uh, put it on the clip. You'll need some 3 8 inch white ribbon. I'm using two strips and this measures five and a half to six inches in length and this will be for the bunny's ears. I'm also using a glittery pink, this right here, flat back button and two white pom-poms for its little mouth and nose. All right, really quick, go ahead and heat seal your ribbon ends. And you can go ahead and form your bunny ears and we'll just make them into little ears just like that, like an awareness type ribbon. And of course, you'll wanna add some glue so it sticks. So there's one ear. And then you'll do the same thing with the other. Just like that, add a little bit of glue. All right, here's my ears. Now I just need to glue them to the tuxedo bow and come around to the back and just add a little glue on this side and on the other side and then stick your ears and they should pop up. And they'll look like this. 